True story. Now I grew up on the west side. 1040 Beach at Gaston Point. Shout out to the back street. I went to GoPro High, played the drums, had my little clique. We was winning all the dance offs and the talent shows. Then I dropped out. Got off into a boxing career, had a pro career, gave it up. Then I got off into this music. See, the guy that we all know by the name Mr. Pleasure, I ain't know him at first. I knew he was from the east side, but he just so happened to be going to Valley State up there in the Delta. And there was these guys called the Swag Stars, Full House Entertainment. Shout out to them. They had this little movement called Mohead Swag going. So, some kind of way he got linked up with them. I'm not too sure about that, but... Of course, he was coming, still coming home from time to time. So, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, in the club, the movement started. All right, it was this time I was in the way. I was way out on the east side, you know what I'm saying? When I go out here, I play my part, you know what I'm saying? I don't be out there doing too much because I know that ain't my side. I ain't trying to fight nobody or nothing. But I'm watching the Pleasure Boys get wide open. And that's when it hit me, man. I mean, I knew more hit swag when I seen it, but I kept seeing Rondell do this move. My bad, Mr. Pleasure. I kept seeing him do this move, and I couldn't explain it. Now, I know a lot of y'all done heard of the camel walk. I want to give a shout to everybody who's following the whole Backburner 2 2 way movement. You know what I'm saying? We got like 16,500 views single-handedly, you know what I'm saying? And it was big, but you know what I'm saying? That was on our end. We didn't know nothing about the Pleasure Boys on the other end of our city pushing this movement they done started. So now, here it is. All this time this Pleasure Boy movement been evolving. We in this big club called 228. And I'm looking at the Pleasure Boys get wide open. So I'm like, man, I keep seeing right there do this move now, but it's like I ain't never seen it before, man. It's too noticeable to not see. You know what I'm saying? So I walk up to him, I'm like, bro, what is that, man? Teach me that. He was like, man, it's called bopping. I'm like, bopping? He was like, man, you ain't been noticing what I've been doing? I'm like, yeah, man, but I ain't. Bopping? He was like, man, go look up some level music or some, some jigging music, man. That's what you bop to. So I got to find out. I started brainstorming. I said, bro, is it a song on YouTube I can look up called Bop? He was like, no, you just know what songs to bop to. So me being smart, I'm a producer. I went home and made a sick beat with a drum. I put a five hook on a crazy beat. I don't even think I wrote the verses, and there it was. I had me a song called Bop. Man, six months later, it's jumping in the club. Now I had like 20 songs on my Super Midway mixtape. People don't know that I named it that because I was like 178 when I stepped out the scale and hung up my pro career. So that's why I named it Super Midway. Put it in the club. I just knew that this song I had called Swagger On or Turn My Swag Up was going to be the number one song. See, I had leaked the song to Mr. Pleasure. I don't know why I did that, because that means now Swagger On is on the east side. And I go to a 151 out there, and it's the hottest song bumping out there. So now every time this song come on in the club, the Pleasure Boys getting wide open. Now this is just on the east side. I had another song booming in Sensations by the name of I Be Moving Though. See, I had made the beat when I was standing up in Starkville. Then when I moved down here, you know what I'm saying, I finally, after about a year, I came up with a song for it. Take it to the club, I'm hollering at DJ Nasty. I ain't never talked to him day in my life, but I had a plan. Gave him a song, he ended up spinning it. Now, I walked to the dance floor, we in the middle of the first verse, he stopped and said, if your music don't sound like this, don't bring it up here. And whoever brought me this song, come holler at me, because you got you a hit. And he ran it back. So I done put Swagger on and I be moving on with a couple of other club bangers on this CD. You know what I'm saying? To put it in the city. I flooded the city. My right hand man, Renardo Backburner, he caught me, got me up a hundred of them, pressed up, you know what I'm saying? He brought me 50 of them on the 4th of July, 2012. I was at work at Sonic on 17th Street. Brought me 50 CDs, man, and I hit the city. I gave 50 of them away, and I sold 50 of them. Then I moved up north with my mom in Orange Grove and disappeared on them. I stopped clubbing. I had to get incognito.
it was a long time I wasn't in the club. I was just, you know what I'm saying, working and staying in my mama's house. But I ended up going back to the club. It was around December, man. Had burnt myself out. I'm sitting in the club. And guess what song I hear? Come on. Just call me, man. You don't call me. You think I'm probably sick? ain't going to never go to sleep. Nah, you never go to sleep. I'm going home. Hello? Hey, man, what up? What you got going on? Hello? Let's go. 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 Yo, check this out. This your boy DJ Chester. Let you know it's going down like this right here. Every Friday, every Saturday, right here in Sin City. I'm about to play the hottest song in Mississippi right now. My boy, AKA Bunny. It's finna go down, baby. You know how we do it. Mississippi, stand the fuck. It's going down right here in Sin City. The hottest song in Mississippi. Let's go. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe that the song that I put the least amount of effort into is the hottest song on the coast. So I went to my manager, I'm like, man, I got a hit. You know what I'm saying? But I told myself, I said, I got to get Mr. Pleasure on stage with me. So I hit him up and I said, bro, what you think about this? Me and my manager about to make Bop a hit. You made the movement. I need a stage man. He said, well, to be honest with you, this don't stop. And ever since then, it's been on and bopping. I know anytime I hit the stage, I can call one person and he ain't gonna be like, what's up, man, I'm getting paid, we getting paid for this? Cause it ain't like that. He knew we had a movement going and we had to do what we had to do to make it be. So the East met the West and we made the best, you know what I'm saying? Put a little instruction video on YouTube, did some numbers, you know what I'm saying? East met the West, we gave him the best. Shout out to everybody that following the 2 way Bob movement. We was even gonna shoot a video. That fell short. Now here came January 12th, 2013. We did DJ Chestain's birthday bash at Sensations. Shut it down. It was crazy, man. Everybody was talking about it. Then come around again, we did a random show at the park, at Hiller Park in Biloxi on a random day. No, it wasn't a random day. It was Mother of the King. We shut it down for the kids. You know what I'm saying? It got so big, me and my manager said we're going to hook up with AMS and we shot a movie for it because it was everything but a video. I want to give a big shout out to everybody who came to support the Bob video because it was open to the public. As for those who didn't come, no worries because we represented Tuesday accordingly. And I want y'all to know we done did all we could do to get this city jumping out here. Now it's time to take this show on the road. So I got my girl Keezy Key and I got my boy Mr. Pleasure. We about to get ready to go put this Bob movement on the map. Shout out to the Tuesday, shout out to Mississippi, shout out to everybody effing with me. I feel like the Tutu Way now got an opportunity to do something we didn't used to have to do. So anybody who had something to do with this movement and your name wasn't mentioned, you already know you played your role so it shouldn't have to be talked about. Bah!